California law requires periodic leak inspections under the Refrigerant Management Program. This video describes how to perform a leak inspection. Although these procedures are not necessarily required by the Refrigerant Management Program regulation, they are suggested best practices. You'll want to perform a visual walkthrough of the facility, exploring the sales floor, the back room walk-in cooler or freezer, the machine room, and the roof equipment. Find all display cases. Identify any overhead or underground pipe locations. Check for obvious problems. You'll also want to look for oil traces or stains. Make sure all the refrigeration case fans are running. Check cases for excessive airflow. If there is a leak, air movement can change the refrigerant's path. You'll then want to check the back room walk-in cooler and freezers. Check inside latch for safety. Check for access to the evaporators. And you'll want to check for oil traces and stains. Proceed to the machine room. Walk around the equipment and check for obvious problems. Check for oil traces or stains, unsecured piping or rub outs. Check and mark receiver levels as well as the time and date. Verify the type of refrigerants in each system being checked. Verify exhaust fans work and can be switched off. Proceed to the roof equipment area. Locate equipment to be checked. Look for oil traces and stains. Turn on the leak detector in an area without any possible refrigerant leaks and calibrate following manufacturer's instructions. It is recommended to start the inspection with a tool set to medium. The tool can be adjusted once a leak is found. Start at one end of the store and check all the cases. Run the leak detector slowly along the honeycomb. Check the side of each case where the valves are located. Overhead piping above a T-bar ceiling can be checked at the drops of the display cases and at a midpoint by removing a tile and checking if refrigerant will fall into the T-bar and follow air movement. Exposed overhead piping can be checked by walking the path of the piping with a leak detector. Underground piping needs to be checked at both ends where it penetrates the flooring. Return to the walk-in area. A very large leak in the walk-in boxes will show up as soon as the door is opened. Refrigerant will saturate the atmosphere of a walk-in box. Check around the coil cabinet, around the expansion, and isolation valves. Check pipe penetrations into the cooler or freezer. Then return to the machine room. A large leak will indicate as soon as you open the door. Be sure to minimize drafts by shutting off fans or other air movement devices. Slowly sweep detector around the equipment. Use caution when checking for leaks near exposed electrical wiring. Since refrigerant is heavier than air, the refrigerant will tend to flow downward. Always position the probe tip below the suspected leak. Check all mechanical fittings, service valves, flare connections, gaskets, roto-lock connections, angle valves, regulating valves, and pressure reliefs. Check all filters. Check all sight glasses. Proceed to rooftop condenser equipment. Make sure to look for oil stains. Run the sniffer along the refrigeration lines. If any leaks are found, California law requires that they be repaired within 14 days by an EPA certified technician. To complete the leak inspection, maintain proper records and be sure to input the results into the California R3 database annually. Remember that on-site records need to be retained for a minimum of five years. While not required by law, it is recommended that leak checks be performed by an EPA certified technician. Thank you for doing your part to help reduce the impact of greenhouse gases on the environment by preventing leaks. In the long run, you will be reducing costs through early detection.